Thousands of North Carolinians are waiting to find out why they're still without an elected representative. Since the midterms, claims of fraud have plagued the state's 9th congressional district, comprising of eight counties. District 9 lays on the border of neighboring South Carolina, spanning from Charlotte, the nation's second largest banking capital, and east towards Fayetteville. The state's Board of Elections, made up of four Democrats, four Republicans, and one unaffiliated member, chose not to certify its results this week. They unanimously voted to open a probe into possible election fraud, but on Saturday, Chairman Andy Penry resigned over allegations of anti-conservative bias. Democrat Governor Roy Cooper is now searching for his replacement as North Carolina continues investigating what appears to be voter tampering. The GOP has held the district since 1963, so it was no surprise Republican Mark Harris self-declared victory over Democrat Dan McCready. McCready, a Marine Corps veteran, rescinded his concession after losing by roughly 900 ballots as voters in Bladen County, about 150 miles east of Charlotte, reported suspicious activity. I think the board is taking its time and wanting to be deliberative in trying to figure out what exactly happened. Political science professor Dr. Michael Blitzer says the slim margin of victory isn't what matters to the board as it investigates midterms. The general statute says nothing necessarily about the issue of will there be enough votes, it's just has the election been tainted. Several sworn affidavits and statements accuse a Harris campaign member, Leslie McCray Dallas Jr., of telling an unnamed individual he quote, doesn't take checks. This in response to his earlier alleged remark about a $40,000 bonus offered by Harris to incentivize McCray Dallas to help win his race. Emma Shipman submitted a sworn affidavit about a woman claiming to work for the Harris campaign offering to finish filling out her absentee ballot. Shipman says she never voted in the House race and has no clue what happened to her ballot after the woman illegally delivered it unsealed. No strangers like that had never been for me. I'm about the oldest one back here. And me. Why she pick me? This isn't the first time North Carolina entered the national spotlight as election season ensued. In January, a federal court found the state's congressional mapping to be one of the worst gerrymandered in the country. The U.S. Supreme Court overruled the federal court's order for its GOP-majority-held legislature to redraw the maps so as not to confuse voters. The Board of Elections is due to disband on December 12th, but was granted an extension to the 21st, when its next hearing date is set, to come up with a solution. If it's unable to do so, the case will most likely head to the state legislature for further consideration and whether to schedule a new election. However, the House of Representatives does have the power to overturn its decision. With the new congressional agenda beginning next month, it's unclear if a representative for the now more than 200,000 residents in District 9 will be sworn in on Capitol Hill. Megan Dyke, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.